Welcome everybody to this super exciting topic Android video streaming applications. Before going to this application, we will see small descriptions about it and for more tricks on Android applications, subscribe to Multi Android Zone. What is video streaming in Android? It is a simple application to stream a remote video to your Android application using the media controller. Media controller is actually is a controller for media players such as play, pause, or rewind etc and video can be loaded from the different source such as the remote server cloud source or the sd card how the video streaming application works first we have to host a video file in your server and you can use the video of sd card or cloud storage also and first uh, first we will show a progress bar until the video partially loaded then play the video in a video view and we have implemented a media controller to allow users to play, pause or rewind. Now points to remember, keep in mind that the video file must be compatible with android version and you can use Vitamio bundle library for android video streaming applications also. Vitamio player uh, Vitamio for Android is an Android library with a video view is similar to Android native application. Let's have a look how to create video streaming application in Android. Have a look. File New Android Project. This project name is Video Stream. The Android 4.0.3 Open Source Project. Suppose package name is com dot tutorial dot streaming. Finish. I'm gonna browse to layout main dot xml. Now inside the graphical layout, take a button inside it now change the linear layout to relative layout layout height is wrap content with this fill parent Android layout center horizontal is true Android layout center vertical is also true and text is string name one now browse to me string dot xml inside string dot xml string name one is save it Now create a new XML file new Android XML file is video.xml and inside the video XML 
take video view now inside video view layout height and width is match parent android layout center horizontal now change the linear layout to relative layout now android layout center horizontal true android layout center vertical save it change the stri string name to name one now create a new xml file say styles.xml inside style.xml take style name app theme parent is and create two more folder for version 11 or more android and version 14 and create two xml files for two different folders for first one is styles.xml For inside v11 folder, we have to write styles, name, app theme, parent, android, theme dot hello dot light, and for version 14 or more, or light name app theme parent android theme dot hello dot light dot dark action bar. Now save all these things. Now I'm going to browse to video stream activity first take a button inside it bt dot bt is equals to button find view by id r dot id dot button one <coughs> button dot set on click listener new on click listener import on click listener now inside on click method right create a new class take intent in equals to new intent video stream activity that this video and create a new class show dot
here is the new class show.java so inside video stream activity dot this so <coughs> start activity in now I'm gonna browse to show dot Java inside it write public class so extends activity inside it take progress dialog PD video view view and and source override implement method on create bundle right set content view add dot layout dot video and here write string URL we will take this URL later for video streaming <coughs> 